to an ashtray. Yes. It was like yeah. a fire code thing. So that's how you, they got away with it for like an extra year. Yep. They just told their clients, their like patrons about it. And, and that's what they, they did. Because a lot of restaurants didn't want that no smoking rule. I no, like it, no. frankly. I, I'm okay with it. Yeah. Agreed. I'm fine with it. Um, I, it's just a thing. Like one day they said, you know what? That, that's why with it, like with the masks and the hand sanitizer and all that shit. It's like one day they just said, okay, you can't smoke anymore. And we all went, okay, well, where do we, where do we go? You know, yeah. you, go, you go outside there. Okay. Okay. And we just did that. <laughs> and that was just, yeah. and there was no, none of this fucking talk. None of this. Oh, it's a violation of my rights. It's uh this and that. No, they just, no, they just said something. And we went, all right, that's how that is now. Yeah. And that's why, why I don't get with this masks and hand sanitizer and stuff. Oh, you can't make me do that again. Fuck off. That's just how it is now. That's <laughs> it's in the constitution. You can't make me do this. Oh, shut up. <laughs> hey, no, it's not me. Yes, we can. Um, I don't like it. I don't like the masks. I think they're stupid. They fucking dry out my throat. My nose is constantly full of shit. I'm always picking my nose and I hate the masks. I, they're, and yeah. they're stupid and they don't do anything for anybody. They just make you feel better, but they're fake security. Uh, I think they're stupid, but am I going to do it? But well, fuck yeah. If I want to go to the Zeller's fucking cafe or whatever i don't think that Ew. still exists but no. uh, well you know, sellers I, doesn't exist but <laughs> um, no it's it's it, hand in hand with no shoes no shirt um yep you, you don't want to you want to go in and buy your slurpee you got to put on a fucking shirt now it's a mask yeah no no different than the shirt same thing right. i don't get why people just are much like, smaller people are like brother <laughs> i got a fucking this. no fuck that's the rule you're a sheep if you wear one. Yeah, whatever. Smoking room. Yeah, whatever. So what? I'm a sheep. I'm a sheep. <laughs> so? who got, I'm a sheep who got his haircut this month, and you're a sheep. Yeah. Who didn't. And you look like a shaggy fucking sheep. And I'm gonna have sex with a girl tonight. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Go be a not sheep. Like those those guys who are like. First of all, what are you if you're not a sheep? You're not a fucking wolf, dude. Yeah. Yeah, wolf wolves work in packs. They work together as a team. You ever, You're not working as a team. <laughs> have you ever gone and seen a flock of sheep? They're like the happiest fucking carefree critters on the planet. They're all smiling, always smiling, just farting, walking around happy. Not yeah. a care in the world. I don't think there's anything that bad. Like I used to say, don't don't insult sheep that way. It's mean. Um, calling us all sheep because we're retarded and they're not. <laughs> but they, you have a look at them. There's some happy fucking animals. Sheep got it right. They just wander. They don't care. What's the, you just cut their hair and they like it. That's their whole life. Just getting sheared yep. and fucking eating grass. Do you know what happens if a sheep doesn't get, uh, what's the proper term, shorn? Is that right? Did they even do that right? I think that was yeah, right. I think it's um, it would it, um, it would kill them. It can. It will. It, 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 can, it could eventually kill them if they don't get shorn. <laughs> shaved <laughs> because what happens is they walk around and then it rains and they absorb all the fucking rain and drown <laughs> you know i've never actually heard that reasoning but that makes way more sense than the truth <laughs> yeah, they don't want to tell you the truth here yeah. or it'll always bring you the truth and that, <laughs> that is it you don't even have to and look that... it up because that's just the truth <laughs> I, really, I should start an online, like, an alternative school for home learning. Like, that would be awesome. Just my own, where I teach the truth. <laughs> like, our truth. <laughs> our truth. Bears. What do they call it? Al alternative facts. Bears eat a million salmon a year. But attacks by salmon on bears are much less frequent. <laughs> That would be sheep absorb. <laughs> if you threw all the unshorn sheep in the ocean, it would dry up. In a it month. would dry up all the oceans. <laughs> It'd make fishing easier. <laughs> I want to have all the salt removed from the ocean because I think it's giving the fish high blood pressure. <laughs> ah, so funny. <laughs> I'm going to start an online course and teach your kids. Might as well, for the shit they're learning anyway, they might as well learn my shit. Yeah, it's going to be no more damaging than what they're teaching, that's for sure. That is for sure. 
Let me jump ahead before we get on to the news. That was fun. That was a good talk. Uh, you're not supposed to do the banter at the beginning of the show, and we've done it for the last three. I hope it's working. If it's not, send me an email, ladyantablowyretards at gmail.com or gwynethpaltrosvagina at gmail.com, whichever you prefer. The Sum It Up podcast breaks down TV shows, movie reviews, and entertainment in an easily digestible and relatable way. I like to digest. The Summit Podcast. Uh, the Summit Up Podcast. Listen, guys, uh, TV's already in the most relatable, palatable, digestible way. That's what TV is. You can't get more digestible. It's fucking pablum. <laughs> it's true. But you guys I, spoon, so- I spoon feed myself fucking shitty TV shows all night. <laughs> uh, but it sounds like a good podcast, and I think everyone should listen to it. Right after you listen to all 251 episodes of Eric and Gorg, what if we're right? Exactly. Um, very cool that people are still sending in your podcast. Keep it up, guys. Uh, maybe send me an email or something, though, and, you know, say hi. Yeah. We, uh, Absolutely. We got a lot of friends out there. Our, our Twitter friends have increased quite a bit because of this latest advertising drive. So tons nice. of fun for me. I'm loving it. Very cool. Uh, speaking of Twitter, they banned Trump. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> No, did they actually ban him, or are they just still pulling out everything he posts? I think they've they've kind of like told him not to anymore. I think I don't know if it's like an outright ban, but I think it's like, a, hey, why don't you just fucking cool your jets, there, big shooter? Because Twitter, his twi- that Twitter account has was a, has officially been labeled as White House, like a former of the White House, basically. So I don't know if they actually could directly ban him. Well, they could. They could directly ban anybody they want. He could also go on as fucking Iron Balls McGinty and just start his own another account. <laughs> That's true. I've got... He would, though. He'd just go under Donald Trump again anyways. Oh, yeah, he would. <laughs> Has to have his name on it. Yeah, I'm Donald, <laughs> Donald Trump. Totally different guy. <laughs> Donald Trump. <laughs> um, I've got like six of them. One of them's a French guy. I don't remember his name. Oh, it's <laughs> gross. That's just gross. I've got. I don't even know how many Facebook accounts I have. I got Tara. I got Tara's cousin. I got. Uh, <laughs> there's another French guy on there. I don't remember his name. I got. Which uh, one was the one that you fucked with me with? Was that Tara? That was Tara. Yeah. That was Tara. Yeah. Tara, that was genius. Uh, Tara. What the fuck, Tara? I, I don't remember her name now. Tara Planis. Yeah, his flat Earth. Tara Planis. That's it. Yeah, Tara. La- Latin for flat Earth. <laughs> and never knew that. <laughs> that it was clever. She's good, good stuff. I wonder how yeah. she's doing. And now there's a new one. I'm not saying whose it is, but there's a new one that I may or may not be involved with. I like the new one, but I'm not revealing my secret identity on this one. I think nope. that's why all my cool shit doesn't go viral is because people learn it's me. So this one I'm keeping. <laughs> I'm keeping on the DL. <laughs> I never keep anything on the DL. This is my no, you don't. <laughs> my, my first attempt to DL something. I like it. And and we both know that one of the two of us are going to fuck that up. So <laughs> is, uh, is, is DL still cool? Is it, or is there a new thing? What's the new thing, uh, ladies and gentlemen, that tell me? I, there's well, DL a... has to be right because it's an abbreviation of a, of a, of a stupid word. So yeah, but I it mean, has to be changed? correct. Like, like people... Yeah. Is, I still on the use, I use sick all the time, and people oh, young, so do I. young people laugh at me. Things aren't sick anymore, but I'm not allowed to say fire, apparently. I had a 14-year-old tell me that. Things are fire? Oh, yeah, fire. <laughs> that's a thing. That's, that's a, a thing. thing. That's the thing with the kids now, and I, I said it because my, my friends have a 14-year-old son, and he said something <laughs> to me, and I was like, dude, that's fire. And he's like, don't ever say that again. <laughs> Why do you realize how stupid you sound? It's fire! It's well, fire! That's yeah, so fire! Well, that's the, yeah, but it, we like we sound any better saying dope and sick and fucking. <laughs> doesn't matter. You just make up a word. Whatever your generation it doesn't matter. By the time my daughter's that age, it'll be like, oh, that's turkey or something. Fucking yeah. <laughs> it's gobble, man. That's gobble. You can't that's do that. You end up with izzle. Fish is on my nizzle, izzle. Ding dong, man. <laughs> Ding dong, yo. So good. Oh, man. So, uh, yeah, whatever. Let me know what the new thing is for DL. I'm sure there's some new. I'm sure DL's not cool anymore. 
Yeah. Um, that's it. What's going on in the world? I have no idea. I didn't. I read a little bit this morning, but it's nothing that I would talk about on the show. It's just horrible, pointless garbage. Yep. Well, I'm just going to be adding to that because that's all there is. COVID, quote unquote, facts. Well, the first one I'm going to start off with, normally I would end with this, but I just, I can't stop looking at it. So I just got to start with it. Um, The U.S. government says that Yale University, right, is illegally discriminating against white and Asian American applicants. Absolutely. Always have been. The Ivy League University is discriminated the you know the, the the university that is built and designed for rich white people <laughs> is discriminating in the two year investigation by the Department of Justice um they th- they found that it breached civil rights law in its undergraduate admissions process we are on the way out yep things are going to be discriminating against actually i just tried to apply for ubc today but i i gave up halfway through but I was going to just, I was like, wait a minute, I don't have a student ID? Fuck, I'll just apply. <laughs> Why not? So I was going to apply <laughs> as a mature student. And then they they couldn't question me being on campus until the application gets denied in January. Would have been perfect. That's true. Fuck, uh, yeah, so what, uh, Yale's discriminating probably, I, I guarantee they probably are, but it's, in their eyes, it's, uh, um, what do you call it? The uh, 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 equal opportunity fucking, you know. They're yeah. Not, they're not discriminating against white people. It's just like for a while they got to let some other people in. So it, for posterity's sake. See, that's my question is, is, is it is this the result of the fact that people have forced businesses and schools and universities and all this other stuff to have more diversity? Is this what happens? Well, yeah. Absolutely. This is this is the end result, and this 100%. is why I can't get a fucking job right now for that yeah. very fucking reason. Hundred percent. So That's yeah, awesome. you cre- you you created this. Yale didn't create this. You created it. No, yeah, American it, people created this. And this that's the uh, it, it happens with everything. Of course, it does. It has to. There's no other way yeah. it can go. That's right. Um, it's it's idiotic. I, Mm-hmm. You know, it's it's the the policy. Oh, ha- half our staff has to be women. Well, what if half your staff's fucking shitty, and there's only good dudes? Like doesn't well, doesn't matter. Staff, we got it's got to be half women. Well, that's stupid. Put the best yep. person it, for the position in the position. Don't this this fucking. I'm all for equal opportunity and and what what's the fuck? What do they call it? That's not what they call it anymore. Affirmative yeah, action. That's affirmative right. action. There it is. Um. I'm all for it, sure, absolutely, but only if it makes sense. Don't don't put someone in a job who's going to be terrible at that job just because they happen to be of a certain demographic. Yeah, that's idiotic. Yeah. Um, but yes, I, like when is... you're going through applications, if a black kid's application comes across, you don't just throw it to the side because he's black. Make sure that he's a fit. Yeah, Make sure absolutely. that the qualifications are there so they can do their job. But you can't say, oh, we need 75% black people this year. So go no. st- go start with that. Fill that, and then we'll see if we can fit in some white guys after. Yeah. Which you is, wonder I why guarantee that's what's fail. happening. <laughs> yeah. At Yale. And it'll happen at a lot of other places, too, because that's, it has to. That's the only, there's no other way to do it. Yeah. And get the numbers up. Like, you demand, oh, half your staff has to be this. But you can't discriminate against anyone getting that number. Well, then it would take 75 years to get that number where you want it. It's a, it's a no-win situation. Yeah. It's but true. that's what these people want. These people don't want a winning situation. These whole food shoppers just want to tell you how to live your life. Uh, so it's, you know, you have to hire everyone except white people. Oh, but you can't discriminate against white people. It's like, what do you want then? You just yeah. want to tell us what to do. You don't want a solution to anything. That's right. That is absolutely right. Um, yeah, I just, just Yale of all places. I just thought that's just fucking genius. Um, now keep in mind, in 2018, Trump wanted to scrap affirmative action. He did. That's because he's very, very racist. Yes, that's right. Um, I mean, so- again, does it under the guise of? Well, the right person for the right job. 
but <laughs> said.